Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Breath of Fire! So, with enough grinding to get up to about 2,000 gold, we, we immediately find ourselves another fight. And immediately use the E key to uh, kind of flatten everything. And now we have a cat over here wondering why I'm not paying attention to him. What? What? What's the matter? Seriously, I, the cat was perfectly fine before I started this. And now he wants attention. Cat, you, you can wait. You are doing perfectly fine not getting attention for the last hour. And yeah, let's see. This place kind of loops around in a circle here. Battle resolve. How's that? Goodness. What's the matter, cat? Mm -hmm. There's not really a whole lot to talk about for uh, the Aura Cave here. There, there's some decent items. There is one item you will absolutely need. Yeah, I just picked up one of those. Okay. That's what she already had. But yeah, there's not a whole lot to really talk about in here. There's one item that is necessary for progress later. But just missing it now would mean we just have to backtrack here. Which... I mean, this is not the worst place in the world. Especially when you have a few levels on you, and especially since you'll have the E key to just kind of wall up everything in path. But here, the iron ore, and that is what I stands for in this case, iron ore. That, now we go backward. And again, when it's only one enemy, I'm just going to select auto battle and let the soldier just ruin it. When it's like this... Yeah, this E key just makes things so much easier. More herbs. Not really necessary for the time being, but we will still take them. just about through here one more item to grab and then we can take those stairs out of here basically well I back up anyway
Free herbs. Always, always nice to get free herbs. And we will want to take those stairs in a second, but first we want to grab a chest here. Which has another stone for us. I fully expect there to be a lot more combat in there and for that to take longer, but hey, I'm not complaining. Much. So now, welcome to the town of Romero, which is not Karma. Karma is still west of here, Agua is north. Back from eternal sleep, you missed your wife. Huh. Uh, that sounds ominous. Okay, she's clearly talking to him. I don't know if any of the... I don't recall any of these tombstones. Having anything written on them. Ever since you've returned from the dead, you've been weak and... Okay. You too, huh? Oh, this, this is good. Got a bunch of people that have been necromancy back to life. I I'm sure it's fine. Nobody would just foolishly necromancy people. Good, good for you. So... There's an item we can get here. We fall down the hole. And the map is missing, huh? Oh, we can't get back there. However, we can... Move these jars out of the way. That. And we get a map. Now the map... I'm struggling to remember how to activate it. It's like you'll never be able to use this. And I don't think it's a thing we can activate. I don't think it's something we activate. That map's not missing anymore, we got it. I think we need the map for something else. I will have to check later, as it has been a while since I played this game. Huh. Still can't go that way, huh? Fair enough. You're different. The zombies only move at night and they sleep in dark places during the day. The girls are gone and dead roaming around the village. But this is weird. Uh huh. So these seem to be a completely different group of people from the ones we were just talking to. Mostly because we've got a different time of day here. And the color of the ground is changing probably because of a potion, huh? Okay. I 
Unfortunately, nothing we can do with the pigs here. I'm not sure what's in there. If that's water, it doesn't look all that healthy. Look, looks slightly radioactive. I don't think it's water, though. So, it being daytime, we can make a reasonable guess that all the people holed up in the buildings asleep are the uh, are the zombies and all the people waking out right now are uh, the quote unquote normal people although why have they haven't relocated in the face of zombie apocalypse is um, a bit concerning Pretty sure that's supposed to be Arthur from the Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghosts and Goblins games. Pretty sure. Let's go check the rest of the houses. Okay, nothing changed there. However, I think I'm gonna keep it daytime for now. Okay, that should be hole. Yep, that's the place with the hole in it. Ah, Grandma, huh? And just to let you know, if you see apples in a basket like that, you can just walk up and eat them. I, I think it restores some health, but not much else. And it feels like kind of a dick move to do the people in this village. So, so I avoid doing it. Too bad we can't take that. Can I afford? I should be able to afford the silk gown. Yeah. Nope, not enough for this item. What else? What I got that I can actually sell? I mean that, obviously. I actually am starting to get a little concerned about how full my inventory is. I have that, but I don't want to sell that yet. That That's useful for other things. Let's sit down. What's the difference between that and the regular gown? 47. 44. So it's not as good. It, it apparently is not as good. Huh. That's weird. Maybe it has some other beneficial effects, but right now, I, I think I can rely more on just straight up defensive numbers. Actually, you know what? Let me check a thing here real quick. Okay, yeah, it's it's weird, but the silk gown has absolutely no benefit whatsoever. The silk gown is just not better than just it's just worse in every conceivable way than the gown. I don't know why. That that seems a little backward. Oh well. 
I'm thinking about it. Let's see, I should have acorns. I should have plenty of things here. Cool. Let's go ahead and use the end here. Sixty gold per night. A little expensive, but hey. I'm worth it. Just one more thing here real quick. Hang on just one second. I need to check something else. Uh, okay, I was right about something. I, I was right about something. The map. It is something we can activate, just not inside town. That's what was throwing me off. I forgot that you couldn't use it inside of town. But outside town, you can actually get some rough idea of uh, about where you are in the world. That is pretty much our entire world that we've traveled across. I'm sure, it, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it actually does fill in as you explore new places. Let's see. And now, welcome to the Karma Forest. Because we cannot reach Karma as it is. Just because we've got, we gotta get through forest here. The forest is kind of dense. It's gonna have a lot of enemies that like to poison us. But that's what the E key is for. Oh, wait a second. That's just a standard creep. Apparently, equipping that gown has moved Nina to the front of the list. I find this a new item which is good I mean new items are good be careful with be careful about the mushrooms There are good mushrooms here. That that's just an example of the ones you don't want to eat. Obviously. Okay, so. So the Iki doesn't quite take down the spider in one turn, but it does make it to where one, t it only has like a few hit points left. So it does eat enough damage. Ah, the red ones. The red ones are the good ones. There's not a lot in here that we really want to go find. There are just a couple of herbs. A couple of herbs, a little bit of gold. But there is one thing, and I think it's down in this path we just went down here. That is a piece of equipment that if I'm not mistaken, it should be an increase for Nina here. Yeah, there it is. The bandage. And... 
only difference is okay, it's just more defense. Doesn't have an appreciable uh, difference on anything else. And with one spider, might as well just sit there and smack the thing. It'd be nice if we gained some levels, but considering all of our experience is basically being divided by three, yeah, that's not the way to go. It's around here. Right now, we are just kind of, uh... Just kind of all hidden, bunched up behind a tree over here. Place is not so bad with healing magic. Should be able to auto battle this anyway. Sadly, I don't know if the uh, I don't know if the soldiers actually gain experience. Huh. This is a fairly big forest. Mm, something. I mean, they did. Looks like they do gain experience. We'll see. We're gonna get hit by something. Oh, maybe not. Nope, did not get hit. So let's see. So they do get experience, okay. I just have no idea what what their experience counters are like. No idea how much it takes for them to level up. I have a feeling it's a lot. Forest is just so much bigger than you think it is. I'm kind of curious about the ecosystem of this forest. I mean, it, it's just kind of funny to me. These things are just more than ready to pounce on us because we're not native. Kind of wonder, what do they pounce? Wh who eats what? It doesn't seem like anything here is all that edible, really. The creeps that, I don't know what would eat the creeps. Spiders and the pill bugs are both kind of on the poisonous side. The 
mushrooms and pill bugs neutralize each other's poison when one gets to eat the other? I mean, I'm willing to bet it is the, uh... I'm willing to bet that the spiders would be the ones that eat the pill bugs. I mean, that only makes sense to me. And yes, I'm pretty sure I could just sit on one red mushroom and eat away. But I'm not in that much I'm not in that much danger. Eh, more magic. Attack up. Pretty sure that's all the chests that are in here. Still hurts. And we are out of the forest, and we are found ourselves in front of Karma Tower. There we go. But I think this marks a pretty decent spot to take a break. When we come back, we will we will climb these two towers here. But until then, take care, everyone. <laughs>